Hi guys, welcome to my brand new Let's Play. We're playing the council today. Now before we get into it, I just want to say a couple of things. One, um, it does say continue, but I literally just clicked on the game to start it. Um, I haven't done anything, um, so that's why it says continue. Also, if you, any of you have seen my previous Iron Man progress, I did say that I wasn't going to be recording until I have done my master's degree. But as you guys know me, I literally couldn't not help recording. I had to do it. I was just so excited to get back into YouTube. Um, and so I decided to play this game. Now, this is The Council. Um, it is a narrative story driven game with RPG elements. So it instantly hooked me. I was so excited to find out about it. I have seen the first 20 minutes of gameplay, um, but no more than that. So I will know what to do up to that point, but no further. Um, so we will make choices in this let's play. So we'll see what ending we get and what um, outcomes we'll achieve. Lastly though, I do just want to go ahead and say, if I sound different, hopefully for the better, um, I did, uh, did buy a new microphone. I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, I don't think it's perfect right now because I haven't got it set up properly. Hopefully it's okay. I've done the best I can in short notice. If any of you want to leave me feedback in the comment section how I sound compared to what I normally use, which is a headset, hopefully I sound a lot better. Um, so please let me know, guys. I really will, would do appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get started. Sub oh, that was a bit loud. Let me just turn that down. Oh, I did turn down... Uh, I did turn subtitles on and I did... Is it sound effects? I don't know. Let's turn that down. Master volume. That was quite loud. Sorry about that. There we go. Let's try again. France. Paris. December 10th, 1792. <sighs> Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Sorry to interrupt. I just want to go ahead and say, please let me know the quality of the video as well. I'm using a brand new recorder. Um, which I have paid for um, and it now records in 1080p um, and it should be at 60 frames a second so it should be a lot better quality. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bombarchard! Bombarchard! 
Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. Is anyone else finding this really cheesy? For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Act. Trust her. Okay, let's trust her. She seems Please to know what she's doing. Be my guest, mother. Oh! Mm. Uh. Oh, bitch. She's out of her shackles. She's armed. So we play as the guy, well Louis. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's well, alive. such a mummy's so boy. So I can question him <laughs> after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Shade. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchert. The game it seems very beautiful, um, but the, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the lip syncing, not fantastic. One month later, January 20th, 1793. Lord Mortimer's Island off the coast of England. Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide present. A game by Big Bad Wolf Studio. I just want to go ahead and see if I've what? got this game on. Um, sorry, I just cut, cut someone off speaking then. Um, oh, is there no graphics? Audio controls. Oh, there's no graphics. Okay, I just wanted to see if I was um, playing the game in the highest graphics I could, but looks like there isn't any uh, graphics settings. Done, mother. You just had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. If the video looks a bit choppy, me to that's say the that game. You've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The council. Episode one, the Mad Ones. I'm very excited to start this, guys. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to Ooh, stop all this, this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Nice dress. Well, and it seems to be like I'm sure I'll guy. find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some sure long lost like mystical mm -hmm. object Point that you just can't already the live keyboard. without. I'm already I'm hating this trip, and all I've done is think about to it. What one may be able to imagine. It was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. <gasps> Perhaps we have She's some got common interests, nice, Your big Eminence. Is this your first eyes? time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation Oops. came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Um, I have business with Lord Mortimer. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. <laughs> anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. 
Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. And what are we? We look like a little thieving rat or something. Are you all right? Oh, migraine. We're fine, Duchess. It's fine. Go on without us. She's about looks like she's about to pass out. Look how skinny that waist is. Lara is quaking right over them boobs. Mother? Oh shit, your oh. hand. Do you need a hand? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Sarah doesn't give a fuck. Are you She's just got like no hand sure? and a black eye. She doesn't yes, even care. Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. Who's this clown? No! <gasps> oh, rip. You can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for what you've done. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> You're bleeding out of you every are this. Louis, are you all right? <laughs> What's going on? Clearly, I'm not okay. Here, take this. Where did she pull that out Sorry. from? Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Her don't boobs. Worry. It's getting late. You guys so would be surprised when she's down there. Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Before she cuts off her own Am I hand. Am crazy or, or what? Okay, this can't right. be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Can you stop talking, please? This is my let's play. Right, we're moving. Am I moving? Yes, okay. The controls are a bit strange then. Uh, right, sorry about all the talking, guys. It is a narrative game, like I said. Um... Hopefully it's not too sensitive. It seems to be okay. a little bit okay. Uh, we'll change otherwise. Actually, can I change it now? I, I don't like when my controls are so sensitive. I really hate it. Um, let's knock this down just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Unfortunately, there was no way to do this before recording, so I apologise. Right, let's try again. That should be okay. That's much better. I don't want it to like start ripping across the screen. Uh, right, I will be exploring as much as I possibly can, so bear with me. Right, I guess that's where we came from. I oh, know, over there. Over there, was it? Oh, there's two boats, I don't know. It must be this one. Right, there was something here. I saw something there, hand. Can we click on it? Add to inventory. Where's our inventory? I? No. Okay, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out later. Oh, was that a little run? It was a little run. Okay, I don't want to run, though, because I don't want to miss anything. We are looking quite suave. Not up to the standards of the Duchess, because she is, like, serving full fish, but... There was something blue on the floor. Louis, Did you guys see that? the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? We were on the same sure boat together. I'm not sure remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell oh, me, I don't what remember have you, you been had. up to since? Sorry. Oh, my lord. Okay. Uh, right, this is the choosing your class 
section. Um, choosing your class just finds your basic skills. Other skills as will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Okay. Diplomat skills: politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, diversion. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux, faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Politics is not for me, honey. Um, occultist. The occultist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. That sounds interesting and quite like a bad playthrough sort of thing. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. I like a cultist. Um, I didn't read the thingy. Sorry. The little skills which are involved. Can I see here? Uh, no. Damn it. Oh well, never mind. So it looks like we have level one. Okay, yep. Yeah, so we have zero in these. I have seen how this works before, so I'm just reminding myself. Uh, so we've got zero in skills from the uh, the diplomat and the zero in the detective. But as the occultist, uh, we have level one in each. So we have level one in um, subterfuge, uh, which is just stealing items, pickpocketing, things like that. Um, science, erudition, occultism, and manipulation. And we're currently a quarter away through to level two with that one, which is quite good. Uh, we've got three points to spend. Um, and we also have one point in psychology, which is good as well. So we can do that if we wanted to. Or we can do any of this, but we have a start. I I don't know how this really works in the game because I've not seen that much. So I'm not too sure where to put my points. That's the only thing. Um, maybe we should... Hmm... Why don't we go ahead and put a point in manipulation, because we're all, we'll be halfway there, and then let's put two in subterfuges. That yeah, that seems good. I don't really know any different to be honest with you. Uh, right, we're done with this. The archetypes of magic added to the inventory. I've been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, mm. it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Okay, tits. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No, I don't. Sorry. Um, I don't... Oh, should we lie to her, guys? We are in a cultist. We might be able to succeed. Should we try it? Let's try it. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Oh, piss. Um, okay. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower cost is in effort points. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we have a skill here, but we don't have diversion, so we can't use that uh, option. Uh, we have a very generic answer here, Paris. Um... And then pretend to be hurt for not believing you. Oh, you're definitely going to do that. Let's try out our new class, guys. Emily, 
It hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm, I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing me, Duchess. Listen, Louis, I am sorry. I really didn't want to hurt you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. Let's go with that, then. Didn't see me, didn't know me. Push any harder and I'll make a fool of myself. Right, time to go to the manor. Well, that seemed to have worked. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most subjective of the situation it will discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to assess the skill required for the situation. You need to have unlocked it. Okay. Um, what's this? Ah, okay. So she's got some dots on her face. What's this? Validate. I ask her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achievement your personal achieve your personal goals. Skills used to against immunities uh, will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Okay, that makes sense. Immunity revealed. Vulnerability revealed. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody okay, so Tits is Duchesne. immune to logic. I don't know where we're going like Look this, Emily. Walk. Damn. You're connected to my mother one way Sick or another. Bitch. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay, talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Okay, right. Did any of you guys actually understand what happened there? No. Um, unfortunately, we only were able to examine her face, it seemed like, or something. There's something here, though. Um, but I don't know if you guys noticed, there was actually one on her necklace as well, which we missed. Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly restores two efforts, which you can't carry more than five. Oh, okay. Press one to use it. Okay, cool. Ah, there we go. We have our inventory. Um, can we use this? Gives us one skill point in occultism. Oops. No. Oh, dear lord. Okay, I'm not sure how we use this. Maybe we can't. Um, then we have the multiple invitation and Emily's handkerchief. Journal. Okay, so Emily is immune to logic as we've discovered. Here's a map that's useful. Let's hope we can take a right up here. Let's have a look. Up here, okay. Um, there's our skill tree, talents. Fabulous. I'm sure we'll find out more about this and traits. Okay. I'm sure we'll find out more about this when we get moving. Um so I assume the blue things okay, another cut. Must be an it. incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from three hundred meters away. I'd really like to just play, please. Um what's this blue thing? Okay, more rural jelly. So I'm not sure if it's just, uh, can we go over to the pier? It's this way, right? Yeah. Um, oh, Good okay, evening, never sir. mind. May I ask your name, please? No. Moi Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Uh, what do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of I the island. I bet she was kidnapped or but something. Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? 
On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Are there any witnesses? Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S. DR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. Well, I know my mine. mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. No. She got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Okay. Um, can I have that? That should be given to me. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but, sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Thanks, Bish. So, as we saw there, his... It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. His vulnerability you is manipulation. You must have come for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What so, could she have been doing out here on this wharf? We're going to be able to manipulate him with the ease. Right, let's go walk down to the pig. So I just want to see what's down here um, before we are rudely interrupted. There's something here on the floor. A wooden floorboard. Uh, let's examine it. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Okay. So as you see there, there was some sort of skill that we don't have, so we couldn't use. Uh, this, I assume this gate's going to be locked. Yeah. Just like expected. Then locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. I can pick the lock. Oh, Bish, we got to do it. You guys know for a fact that I'm going to have to do everything that's in our skills. Uh, there we are. Okay, is there anything good in here? Oh, it's, it is a bit dark, guys. I apologise. Um, if it's kind of difficult to see in the poster corner, we'll lighten it up. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so there's a couple of things to look at here. Um, this looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed just like in my vision and none of it's telling me anything useful okay so we did see that our mother had a gun in the vision but that doesn't mean she's got the gun right now because uh, i assume the vision would be in the future at some point possibly unless there's some sort of um strange narrative going on where the new uh, like sequences are not being told in order Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What do we hear? Is that gunpowder? It's cannon powder. Yeah. Uh, okay, we, so we can examine it for free because we have the science skill. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently... Someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. All right, okay. Uh, that seemed to be somewhat useful getting into that little uh, area because we got a little tick for looking for clues for our mother. Um, 
There's a few things here. A Latin inscription. And Nessis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. We don't have Van Lyswick's unlock, so I can't. Oh, but we have a cultism, so we can do that. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. So Lord Vol um Lord Voldemort. I've been watching too much Harry Potter. Um Lord uh, Mortimer's vulnerability is linguistics. What's this? Can we go upstairs? There we go. Right, so I've not seen anything past this bit now. This is all brand new to me, just to let you guys know. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Very, very beautiful. Very grand. But I'm kind of surprised. It doesn't look like anything that would be in England. I know this is like 250, 300 years in the past. But it looks very European. 